As always with United States military aircraft, the greatest consideration was placed on the service's most indispensable asset. The preservation of aircrew was a major priority. And with the B-1 project, it would prove a substantial challenge. Rockwell's engineers tackled the problem of crew survivability from a stricken plane in exactly the same way General Dynamics had with the F-111 crew capsule. But for the B-1, with a crew of four, it would have to be much larger and tolerances would be greater. There was always concern about the effects on air crew, not only from the force of ejection, but more importantly, from the impact of landing. The F-111's capsule had worked well, but at this scale, and at a weight of 9,000 pounds, the problems were multiplied. There was a real danger of spinal damage to crews on impact, so rapid action airbags were developed to cushion the effect of the module as it hit the ground. Because of the nature of the B-1's mission, the airbags would have to work on land and water. <laughs> 